Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be my doing my July uh, sewing plans and fabric haul and uh, this video is probably coming out quite uh, well into the middle of July. I did film it at the beginning um, <laughs> but I really wanted to get my June lookbook up first and at this present moment in time I'm still four items short of what I wanted to do but they're all uh, they're all knit fabric so those should be really quick. Enough waffling, what am I going to be doing in July? Um, everything it seems. I have got a list of about 16 things here. Um, so wish me luck is all I'll say. Yeah, so I've got a list of about 16 things here. Um, so the very first thing that I'll be making is the Sew Over It Rosie dress and that is for the lovely Renara. And um, she did my uh, necessary clutch wallet bag making course, and decided that she want and she she does sew herself, but she doesn't have time to do this dress, and she wants it for her birthday, which is later on this month. Now I've actually already traced this off her muslin this, which you will have seen if you watch my weekly vlogs. Um, but she has picked this amazing fabric, and it is from Modes for You and um, we're going to be doing the rosy bodice with a really full skirt on the bottom of it and she's coming in on Thursday so in two days time to try that on and I've not even cut it out yet <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow but yes uh, so the the rosy dress in this beautiful sky rose print uh, cotton from most few so the next one is the um, chenille flocked black coat for Karen with the uh, lilac lining with the lovely ladies on it um, I've been mentioning this for a couple of months now and um, kept putting it off because Karen couldn't get over to the island for her fittings and stuff um, she is coming on the 20th of July so I shall have the coat ready for then. So next up I am making a dress for my lovely neighbour. Um, I promised her this from probably two years ago now actually, gosh, um, but they cat sit uh, Chiana for me when I went to Saudi Arabia for three weeks to visit my parents. Um, so I said I would make Hazel a dress and initially I'd picked some fabric and then decided against it um, but they have now picked this amazing stuff which um, yeah Again, I will insert a close up for you, but I just this I want some of this for me. Um, and I am going to be making a sundress for Hazel and a little bolero. Um, the bolero is going to be this one, and the sundress is going to be a pattern a project runway dress and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head and for some reason I've not written that down but I will insert a picture of it here because again with the magic of editing I can go and look it up at the shop when I get there tomorrow. So I'm making Hazel a matching bolero and dress and that is going to be for her sons. Uh, they're already going to be married but they're having a big party and apparently he has a thing for fish so she's going to be that's going to be an awesome dress so I'm going to do that one. So the next thing that I'm going to be making is for a lovely lady called Pippa and it's actually going to be her wedding dress. Um, now she is decided she, she's actually having a um, legal ceremony in August and then she's having an actual big wedding party like day and evening thing on the 3rd of September and I am making the the legal ceremony dress, I'm making the evening dress, I'm making the going away dress for the next day and a little sequin jacket for her. Um, this month however I am only going to be making the wedding dress and we've picked the uh, uh, Butterix Patterns by Gertie B6483 which is brand new for release for this autumn. Um, so it feels really funny saying autumn in July. Um, but yeah she, she'd shown me a picture of um, a very similar dress with made with the Michael Miller um, fabric and um, it was like oh there's a birder pattern uh, I've seen some other patterns and then Gertie released this one and it was just like ah that's that's perfect um, so we're gonna be using this fabric called Waverly which she has ordered from fabric.com and I believe it's arrived and she's washing it herself so I don't have a, a clip to include for you because she's not coming in till the 11th of July to to give me that fabric and I want to get this video up before then um, but here is a picture of what the fabric looks like so uh, we're going to use red piping details red frogs um, and it's going to be basically be version a of this pattern so that's really exciting um, however she is another one that won't let me near over the tape measure until like right down to the wire she's coming in on the 11th of July as I say for a fitting and up it won't be a fitting it'll be a first measuring um, and then the uh, dress is needed for the 13th of August so yeah, it'll be fine. 
I also need to make my uh, small girl type creature or niece, I need to make her birthday present. Her birthday is the day after mine, so the 2nd of May. Um, she knew she wasn't going to be getting her dress until later on in the year though because it's just been crazy busy. However, she needs it for a wedding that she's going to in August. So this month is the month. Uh, it's going to be the So La Di Da Sweetheart Neck a uh, sweetheart dress but with the portrait style neckline, slightly shorter sleeves like mine had as well and it's going to be in a uh, white stretch cotton with abstract red roses all over it. You've seen this before, I've made something else for someone else in that before. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get this one done. I think it's going to look awesome on her. Why she wanted her dress with sleeves for a wedding in Portugal, I don't know, in August, but she did in her wisdom. So I, who am I to argue with her? So I should be doing that one as well. And then I'd have two necessary clutch wallets that need doing. One's with lobsters and one is with uh, black fabric with uh, gold maps printed all over it. So I've got those two to do as well. They don't take too much time though, so that'll be fine. Um, yeah, so that's it for, <laughs> that's it for commissions. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight commissions. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, I can do this. Um, and not only can I do this, I'm going to include some selfish sewing this month as well. And I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, so split it evenly. I've got eight projects that I wanna do for myself this month. Someone shoot me now. <laughs> it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I keep saying that, but it will be. So selfish sewing wise this month, it's going to be the month of tops. Um, I do have a dress and some trousers thrown in there, um, but I don't have that many tops. And uh, given that I'm making more skirts and trousers and things like that, or at least I want to make more trousers, hence trousers being in there, um, I thought some tops would be a good idea. Okay, so I've written down what I want to do. Okay, so the first thing is um, gonna be really quick and really easy and uh, yeah it's one of those um, faux fur pom-poms that you can add to uh, your bag because I just think they're really really cute so I want to make one of those and I'm gonna hopefully film a tutorial of me doing it because you know I keep promising all these tutorials let's have some more promises <laughs> but no they, it, it's gonna be um, uh, I've got loads of like little bits of leftover faux fur from the coats that I've made so I thought that would be a really good way of using them. Um, I want one for myself and hopefully I can put them up in shop as well so that. Next up we have part of my uh, 2017 hashtag 2017 make nine. I put the brewery shirt on there. Um, so yes, I'm going to make myself a shirt. This is the most complicated thing that I've got to do this month. I'm looking forward to it though. I'm planning on, now I've got some beautiful brushed um, cotton, Robert Kaufman cotton that I got from fabric.com and um, obviously that's quite thick so that's going to be um, a winter shirt but I do have some really lovely lightweight chambray that I would like to make a, what I'm going to be classing as a wearable muslin. So yeah, um, I always like to practice patterns like this first, like the whole way through, and I find it's, I've got much more motivation to do that if it's in something that I have a hope of being able to wear at the end or gift to somebody else, rather than just straight up muslin, so, or calico, so, um, yeah. A bruyere, I think that's how you say it, bruyere shirt in uh, blue, uh, blue chambray. That'll be fine, be fine. Okay, so the other things that I want to make are all easy patterns, so that's good. Um, the first one is the McCall's 6794, which is this shirt pattern, or this top pattern, should I say. Um, I want to make either, I mean, I love them all, but I think I want to make view C. And I have got this, um, it's not, it's polyester definitely, but it looks kind of like sand wash silk. Um, stuff that I'm going to insert a clip of here somewhere. Hand dancing is necessary for that to happen. Um, yeah, so I am going to um, hopefully make view C out of this. Um, and again, wearable muslin. Um, also, I it's a, it's a stone coloured, creamy coloured um, uh, fabric. So I'm thinking it's going to be quite a good mix and match piece because as you know, I love me some prints, I love me some colour, I have a lot of it and it would be nice to have some separates that can tie things together um, and yeah I don't have very many tops as I think I said in my vlog so yeah this month is a month of tops. 
So the next one is McCoy's 6604 and I'm going to be doing view A. Um, I wasn't too keen on C and D but they're kind of growing on me. I really like B as well but yeah it's going to be A for this one um, and I am planning, I've got some, so when I bought that stone coloured fabric or the creamy coloured silky polyester stuff uh, from Goldhawk Road. I also bought the black version as well so I'm planning on doing the main body of that in black and then I have some leftover crepe from Ditto Fabrics that I'm going to use for the contrasting little shoulder details or the little sort of like sleevey bit thingies so I thought that would look really cool and then that way it would tie in really well with all the crepe stuff that I've made as well so yeah view A. So next up we have McCall's 6563 um, and Again, I, I'm not overly sure about B and D, but I really like A and C. D is kind of growing on me. It could possibly be used as a tie tie bit for those, we could, maybe. But um, yeah, uh, probably it'll end up being A rather than C, I think. Um, and I have this beautiful rayon that I got from Indian Royal Treasures and it's got a black background with bright green, red and blue flowers all over it. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip down here of, you, of it somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna do the top and I'm also gonna make myself a pair of wide leg trousers. So again, I can kind of make it look like a jumpsuit if I want to, uh, but then I have two separate pieces and also using the bathroom is not quite as horrendous as it is in a jumpsuit. So yes, view A of that one and then I am also going to be making um, La Cala 1269 which is a t-shirt and it's a it's a t-shirt it's got two layers at the front so one is like a standard t-shirt and then from the um, shoulder yokes it's got like a, a cow neck um, drapey bit going on um, I really like this idea like I've made a couple of um, I love cow neck t-shirts and I have quite a few ready to wear ones from forever 21 which are definitely looking a little bit worse for wear so I need to find a pattern that will can replace those because again like I say love them um, I think I like the sew over it cow neck dress and top but it's not quite right for me um, I've made it twice now and I will wear them both. They're both one's white French terry and one's white viscose uh, jersey. Um, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on the neckline on those ones. Um, so I'm quite excited to try this one and I'm probably gonna do this in either a white viscose jersey because I also like the fact that there's two layers at the front so it's not quite so see-through um, or a red viscose jersey which will then go with the trousers that I'm making that's the plan and then the final thing on my list is another McCall's 6754 if I have the time this one will be a sleeveless one and it's going to be in this amazing scuba that I got from Fabric Styles and it has flamingos on it and I love this um, and I really want to get this made up this summer so that I can wear it whilst we still have some warm weather um, I've also put another piece of fabric beside me I've got this fabric, it's from the textile centre, it's cotton jersey, it is stripey um, and I would like, I think I got four metres of it because it was the last four metres that they had. Um, I would like to make a McCall's 7319 with this, uh, the maxi version, sleeveless, um, because I think it would make another awesome summer dress. But that would be, this will only happen if I get everything else done this month, um, <laughs> which the likelihood of that happening is fair let's say fair <laughs> um yeah so that's that's everything that i have planned for july uh i i don't think i'm going to be having any days off and sleep may be optional but i will get this done i will at least get all the customers commissions done and i've um made myself a promise that customer commissions are going to get done first and then I'm going to start working on the selfish sewing, which, because sometimes I, what I do is I will kind of intersperse selfish sewing with the customer commission, so that way that I, I don't go completely stir crazy, but given how busy this month is, I need to get everything done first and then work on my own stuff. So yeah, maybe no days off. <laughs> we shall see. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye.